How to estimate a percentage amount. Sometimes we have to give an estimated percentage amount. For example, with these diagrams, we have to estimate the shaded amount. In this one, there's two parts shaded out of four equal parts. Of course, that's the same as one half, and you know that's the same as 50%. In number two, we've got one part out of four equal parts shaded. Think of your equivalents. One quarter is 25 over 100. That's 25%. Now for number three here, this is where we really are giving an estimate. I look at this and it reminds me of a hundredths grid. This part looks like a column of 10 and this part looks like a row of 10. And together they're about 20%. So that tells me my estimated shaded amount must be approximately 80%. As you know, estimation involves rounding to make the math easy and quick. When rounding a fraction, decimal or percent, we can also use benchmarks. One quarter is 25 over 100, 0 0.25 or 25%, and three quarters is 0 0.75 or 75%. Being able to use an equivalent can help us solve problems more easily. I'm going to show you a set of problems now where we have to estimate the answer. And this is a skill you need. 12% of 90. 90 is a round number. 12 rounds down to 10. 10% 10 of 90 means 1 tenth of 90. 90 divided by 10 is 9. 48% of 160. 48% rounds up to 50%. We want half of 160. Half of 16 is 8, so half of 160 is 80. You can flick between your understanding of fraction, decimal and percent to make the job easier. You have options and I want you to be aware that you can use them. Now we've got 75% of 104. I like 75% because it's the three-quarter benchmark. 104 is going to change. It rounds down to 100. And of course, 75% of 100 is 75. You could also say that 75 rounds up to 80 and take 80% 80 of 100 instead. It's only an estimate and both these ways work. But for this problem, I prefer the benchmark of 75% here. And for the last one in this set, we've got to estimate 32% of 94. They both round down. 32 rounds to 30 and 94 rounds to 90. 30% of 90 can be shown as 30 over 100 times 90 over 1. I can cancel 10s here. And here, multiplying out, 3 times 9 is 27. So 32% of 94 is approximately 27. There are more practice problems like these ready for you on my website. And when you practice this thinking, it helps you build confidence so you'll be ready for one of these in a test. And even if a question doesn't ask you to estimate, it's always a useful skill because you can use it to gauge whether your solution seems right. Is it in the right ballpark? And that's always a great idea. Do the practice exercises at letsdomath.ca and get confident with all this good stuff. See you next time on Let's Do Math.